it's the Rossum Vegan Gal here and today I have a couple of products from a company called Inner Ego. I have their coconut water probiotic and this is actually their tropical flavor and I also have their 100% young green coconut and this has two four ounce frozen packets that are ready to use and I actually did two videos separately one on the coconut water probiotic and one on the frozen coconut and I will have links below this video to those two separate videos and I talk in detail about each product so I'm not going to go into that in this video but there is some things I wanted to share with you that um, were corrected for me by Nikki and I actually put some notes below the last video about um, both these products. Number one, they, this was their first product, the Inner Eco um, uh, Fresh Coconut Water Probiotic and the coconut meat wasn't used at the time. So I just wanted to clarify that they actually did donate that coconut meat. They did not throw it out. Everything is done very eco-friendly. This next thing was about the frozen coconut, that you always keep this frozen until ready to use, and I just took it out of the freezer. Do not thaw it out, because then it's difficult to remove it from the package. And in the previous video, I was actually squeezing it out of the package. You shouldn't have to get to, to you shouldn't have to do that. The other thing that's very important as per the instructions on the package is that to use it within three days. Now, what that means is once you make something with it, once you make that product, whatever that may be, that must be used within three days. But if it's left frozen, if you only use part of what's in the package, whatever is in the freezer will keep for a long time, so you don't have to be concerned about that. So what I'm going to be making today with both of these products is a coconut yogurt. Since this is a uh, probiotic and this is the coconut, we can actually put the two together and let it ferment just like we would do with, you know, uh, sauerkraut or kimchi and we're going to make, uh, I'm going to make a coconut yogurt. Now, I will show in the next video the results because this takes about, I don't know, a day or something to ferment and I'll, then I'll show you the results and I'm actually going to be doing a second video making something else with the coconut. So, I'm going to open this package up. I haven't opened it as yet. So this also comes in um, four two-ounce packets, but I decided since I'm going to use it, and this is how it is, it's all frozen. Since I'm going to use it, uh, use just one of them for this video, then I decided that I would just get the just get it like this. Now it'll be much easier to open it up since it's still completely frozen. And then the rest of this I am going to put in the freezer right now before I forget. So it is not, so it will stay frozen. So excuse me for leaving the camera for just a second. So uh, what I'm going to do is, I'm not actually sure, relatively speaking, how much of the coconut water probiotic to use because I'm going to be blending up the coconut with this to make the coconut yogurt. So, but what it says here that's very important is to not shake it, open slowly, it may be fizzy, so I'm going to just do it over the sink, and I just heard it a little, a little fizz go, so then it says to close it, twist the cap slowly, release pressure, close, repeat, then slowly rock the bottle to dispense the culture. So you just want to slowly rock the bottle like this. Don't rock the boat too much. But you want to keep this uh, refrigerated at all times, because um, it is active cultures. So they recommend on here one tablespoon um, when you would have it by yourself uh, or add it to your juices or smoothies. But for this, I might actually do maybe like three tablespoons. I'm just going to try it out. I've never um, done it before. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up this frozen packet. And it should be very easy to come out. So I'm going to actually cut from the top just to get it open initially. And it should come out very easily. Last time I was squeezing it out of the package, so I'm just going to cut it down here and then put it right in the blender and I'll show you once I open it. So this is the coconut meat, it's completely frozen so it's much easier to use it that way. So as you can see, it's just one frozen piece. It should come right out. <laughs> there we go, you see it's just one frozen piece so that's very easy. So I'm just going to put this right into the blender here. I might break it just in half, just so it'll be easier for the blender to, to work. And then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my coconut, uh, and I have a measuring spoon here. So I'm going to do about three tablespoons. And this happens to be the tropical flavor, that's what they had in the store. So I'm going to put measure one, two, 
and it is starting to fizz, kind of like, uh, like a soda would, but of course it's natural. So I did about three tablespoons. And again, it's something you would want to play with. I'm not actually sure how much you really need. So I'm going to plug this in and blend it. So here we go. So as you see, because it's frozen, it needs a little bit more attention. Because as you see, it was flop flopping around because it's frozen. So um, I don't know if it needs a little water, but since it's frozen, it's kind of takes a little more time in the blender. I'm trying to break it up. It does smell really nice from the tropical flavor. Now, what's in the tropical flavor, I can mention, is just the young coconut water, the kefir cultures. It has natural flavors and sweet leaf stevia. Some people pronounce it stevia, it's actually stevia. And I'm not sure what the tropical flavors are. I could find that out and add that on the video from, from Nikki. So what I may do for this, it's starting to defrost a little, but I don't know if I should add a little bit of water. It kind of got all over the place since it was frozen. So um, it's starting to uh, break down a little more. I just don't know if it'll blend properly without any water. I prefer to not use water in it if I don't have to. I'd rather just keep it as is. So I'm going to try to blend it a little more and see what we get. actually better this way if it um, if I was blending it now 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 it might be a little bit better now what's going to happen actually is once this is fermenting it's actually going to be sitting out on the counter and hopefully you have a warm place to do it if you're going to make this you may want to put it somewhere in your house where it's warm if you know you're you have a garage or something if your house isn't warm so and I and then I would check it by the next day so it's still a little bit frozen, um, and I might try to blend it one more time, and then that's really it. There's nothing really else to do uh, but put it into a container, close it up, and then just let the, the, it, it ferment. And then, of course, once you serve it, you can serve it with other things, you know, if you want to use... Um, berries or anything like that or or do something else with it so again it'll defrost more as it's uh, as it's going to ferment so I don't think I really need to blend it anymore and again I prefer not to use any more water so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put it I have some jars here and I don't know if I need one this big but this is what I have so I have some some jars some glass jars here so I'm just going to use one of them. So since I only did one four ounce packet, it doesn't make as much if I use both. So it's about four ounces. So I'm just going to pour this into the jar and then just let it ferment. And if this is something you've never experimented with before, it's a great option, especially if you're trying to be dairy free or if you have dairy intolerance or anything like that. You know, you can buy it as well. Uh, I don't know, there's not that many options in the stores right now. There is one that I've actually done a video on called a Koyo, a very good coconut yogurt as well. But this is nice when you can make it yourself and then you can, you can add the ingredients into it that you want. You don't have to um, be quote unquote married to uh, what other people are wanting to put in their products. So you could be very selective and, you know, if they add other things in it that you would prefer not to use. So that's about it. There's a little left in here that I'll get out. So this is what I have. Um, it measured it's in here about two-thirds of a cup. So again, once this is done, it should be done in about a day or maybe less. And um, then I'll do a follow-up video to tell you uh, what results I got. We'll see how it goes. Again, I put in just three, about three tablespoons of the probiotic. Now the coconut is cold and frozen now, so as the day goes on, hopefully it warms up, because the idea is you need warmth for it to ferment. 
So I'm just going to leave this on the counter so it maybe takes, it might take more than a day. So I'll just uh, let you know the results when it's done. And again, these are products from the company called Inner Eco. I have their probiotic and then the coconut is in the back in the freezer so it stays good for the next video when I will be doing a little dessert treat with it. So I thank you for watching. It's the Rossum Vegan Gal.